signal for imitation. But the senator, while insisting he was not intoxicated, could not explain his nudity. Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKRP. Got kind of packing and unpacking, town to town, up and down the dial. Maybe you and me were never meant to be, just maybe think of me once in a while. I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. Good morning, Jennifer. Morning, Herb. Any calls? No. Messages? No. Nope. Mail? None. Okay. How about lunch? No lunch either. Dinner? Busy. Okay. How about later at my place? You're married, Herb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's it going to take with you, Jennifer? I mean, you're talking to the sales manager here. I mean, what do you want? Watches, jewelry, a side of beef fully dressed? <laughs> I can fix anything. You want to meet Bert Convy in person? I mean, they don't call me Mr. Kickback for nothing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Travis, the uh, new program director. But kickbacks are wrong. <laughs> Herb Charlie, uh, sorry I got a meeting. We'll talk later, if you last that long. <coughs> nice fella. One of the best. Would you like to see the big guy? The big guy? The skipper, the chief, the head honcho, the jerk who runs this place? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, would. Mr. Carlson, Mr. Travis is here to see you. Travis. I don't know. He claims to be the new program director. <laughs> I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. You know, I never really met the big guy before. He hired me on the phone. Well, then you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yes, he's still here. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Les. Uh, Les, this is Andy Travis, our new program director. Well, howdy. So you're Travis. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Les is in charge of news, weather, Sports? The last program director lasted 30 minutes before the big guy fired him. Uh, traffic and... What else, Les? Award-winning farm reports. <laughs> so watch your step, mister. <laughs> well, Les a great guy, too. Of course, he's no her, but he's still one of the best. <laughs> he's all right. At least he's not always pawing and mauling you. Constantly on the make. Dying for some steamy one-night stand of unbridled passion. <laughs> some out-of-the-way hotel room. <laughs> You know what I mean? I sure do. <laughs> You're not like that, are you? Who, me? Oh, no, heck no. <laughs> How come? I don't know. <laughs> Travis? Uh, yes, sir. I'm Carlson. Well, it's nice to finally get in here. See you in person. <laughs> He's a great guy, too, right? One of the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you fish? Uh, no, sir, no, no, don't. No? <laughs> <laughs> I fish. Uh, Mr. Carlson, you know, it, it, it strikes me that you don't really remember hiring me. Of course I do. You know, I quit the job in Santa Fe. You did? Yeah, I took an apartment here in Cincinnati, too. Ooh, do you think that's wise? <laughs> Mr. Carlson, we talked on the phone, right? And you promised me a free hand to run this station. I should never use the phone. Cut that thing in half. Just use it for listening. <laughs> you made a big mistake in coming here. Where are you going, cowboy? Well, I, I don't really know, but I know where you're going. Yeah? Yes, sir. You're going back to playing music on this station that was way out of date 20 years ago and losing 100 grand a year. Where'd you get a figure like that? From you? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but sit down for a second. I suppose you've worked at stations that make really big money, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. A lot of them. We used to make money around here, you know. Of course, that was back in the days when music was music and men were men and fish were fish. <laughs> Well, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Carlson. I think I can see right through you. You can? Shoot. You know what's going on around here? I do. Oh, oh of course I do. How, how do you see it, though, Travis? Well, I see before me a very shrewd manager. True. A man yeah. smart enough to hire the right people. That's very astute. And then you just step aside and you let them run the operation. <laughs> can you read me like a book? <laughs> I can be tough. I can be mean. I can make those hard decisions. And the first decision we're going to have to make around here is what we're going to do about Mama. Mama? Yeah, my mother. She owns this station. I've got to answer to her for everything that goes on around here. We do. I thought you said you were in charge here. I am in charge here, and don't you forget it, Buster. <laughs> but sometimes Mama scares me a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Carlson, let me ask you another thing. Uh, does your mother want this station to make money? Oh, it does, she. <laughs> she gets this look in her eye when she talks about money. Starts making this... Noise down deep in the throat. Oh, well, good. Because I think she's going to like what we do around here. Huh? 
Yeah, because I know that I can turn this station around. Turn it around? Make money. Oh, well, in that case, Andrew, you've got a free hand from here on out. For the time being. That's good. Where's Norris? <laughs> out that door, down the hall to your left. Good. Think you're going to like it? Hey, one more thing. Yes, sir. These changes, they, uh, they wouldn't necessitate the uh, playing of rock and roll music, would they? Possibly. <laughs> Dear God, she's going to kill us all. <laughs> You're Travis? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I'm Johnny Caravella. I'm also known as Johnny Midnight, Johnny Cool, Johnny Duke, Johnny Style, and Johnny Sunshine. <laughs> you can call me Johnny, okay? <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Johnny. Mind if I sit down? <laughs> no, please. I'm a morning man. I uh, just got off the air. You got insomnia, you know. <laughs> Can't go to sleep before three. I got to get up about five. Get in here. Be on the air by six. This coffee keeps me as sharp as a tack. <laughs> Mind if I lie down? Go right here. Sunshine, haven't I heard of you? I'm not a cop, are you? <laughs> Johnny Sunshine. Johnny Sunshine, I remember. Yeah, it was Los Angeles in the late 60s. Johnny Sunshine boss Jack. Hey, you, were, uh, you were very hot, man. Yeah. Something happened there, though. Station fired you for some reason. Well, I'll tell you something, baby. They all fire you sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, no, but this was something that you, uh, something you did. Yeah, well, we all do things, right? <laughs> well, it was something that you said. Yeah. Booger. <laughs> what? I used the word booger on the air. That's right. Yeah. I was making about a hundred grand a year out there. <laughs> Then one day I said, Booger, a bunch of bozos call the station. Next thing I know, I'm in Amarillo hosting a garden show. Mind if I get some coffee? No, help so. Where'd you go from there? Denver, Boise, Fargo. It's all a blur to me. I tell you this, though, I never thought I'd end up at WKRP in Pittsburgh. Cincinnati? Yes. This is rock bottom. Mr. Travis? Yeah, that's right. I'm Les Nessman, winner of five regional broadcasting awards. Uh, yeah, I know. We, uh, we met in the lobby. That's right. I wanted to chat, but I had to get on the air with the hog futures. <laughs> Hogs have futures. I don't. Pleasure is all mine. Well, thank you. You know, I sensed this morning somehow that I, uh, I rubbed you the wrong way. Me? Oh, no, I just had the hogs. <laughs> Travis? That's uh, right. Herb Charlick here, head of sales and promotion. Welcome to WKRP in Cincinnati. Can't what? talk now. Got meetings all day long, but we'll get together real soon. Look forward to it. Out of the way, Les. <laughs> I guess I'd better be going, too. Good day, and may the good news be yours. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hey, am I on? No, oh, man. It's, 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 it's all right. Who are you? I'm, I'm Andy Travis. Oh, yeah. But what's with those two guys, anyway? Huh? What two guys? Herb and Les, though. What, uh, nasty this morning and nice now? Oh, yeah. Ah, come on, Andy. You've been around, huh? They were up for your job. Uh... Les wants an all-news and hog format. <laughs> On the other hand, Herbert like an all-talk show format. I, personally, was hoping for all Hawaiian. <laughs> What do you got in mind? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't quite uh, decided yet. Listen, uh, do you know about Carlson's mother? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're gonna love it in Amarillo. <laughs> so, if you're on your way to work, you might want to take an umbrella. Or you might not. <laughs> you're listening to the Johnny... Caravella Show on WKRP in Cincinnati. And now it's time to listen to one of my personal favorites. It's the Hallelujah Tabernacle Choir with their beautiful rendition of You're Having My Baby.
Hey, listen, I've been thinking. I want to go ahead and change the format today. Today? Sure. Just like that? Why not? Well, I don't have any records. Uh, now you do. Uh, listen, Andy, uh, it's been quite a while since I worked in a rock station. So? So I think maybe you should look for somebody else. About 15 years younger. Uh, you're my man. Listen, I, I really appreciate it. I do. You can I, do it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, Just I, do it. Okay. <laughs> Bailey, I'm having a meeting with Nesman and Charlie, and I want you to be there. Me? <laughs> well, you work here, don't you? Well, yeah, but, but I've never gone to a meeting before. Well, that's been a mistake. Oh, I always thought so. <laughs> uh, listen, you, you do mean now. Yes. <laughs> and you can say booger if you want to. <laughs> Well, it's goodbye to the elevator music. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> All right, Cincinnati, it is time for this town to get down. Johnny Fever, and I am burning up in here. Woo! We all in critical condition, babies. But you can tell me where it hurts, because I got the healing prescription here from the big KRP musical medicine cabinet. Now, I am talking about your 50,000 watt intensive care unit, babies. So just sit right down, relax, open your ears real wide, and say, give it to me straight, doctor. I can take it. <laughs> Almost forgot, fellow babies. Booger! <laughs> Andy, how's it going? Gosh darn it, you know, you've only been here, what, three days and already I can feel a... Uh, how do you describe it? Uh, electricity in the air. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Bailey. Uh, anybody want any coffee? No. No? Okay, Bailey, you're on all. We've got important business to discuss. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, Bailey's here for the meeting, Herb. Why not? Move over, Les. <laughs> just meeting all about, Mr. Travis. Oh, Andy, please. Andy? Okay. Well, I just wanted to announce to you all that starting just a few minutes ago, I changed the format of WKRP to Top 40 Rock and Roll. <laughs> That's really just the beginning. There's going to be a lot of other changes around here, too. I knew it. We're fired. No, no. Nobody's fired. But we are going to make some changes in the way you guys have been running your individual departments. <coughs> Les? What? <laughs> now, you have this thing you call eyewitness weather. What is that? Well, I just look out the window and witness the weather. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, what about this station's uh, traffic helicopter? We don't have one. So why do we have helicopter reports? Well, that's just me. See, I get on the air and then I do this. The traffic today is light to heavy. A lot of angels. Yeah. Good for you, Lift. Uh, Andy, what about my client, Lifts? I mean, do you think Shady Hills Rest Home, our oldest and dearest client, is going to advertise on a rock and roll station? Well, for every one client we lose, we gain three more and double your commissions. I don't actually know anyone down there. <laughs> Excuse me, Andy. <laughs> I am swamped with phone calls out there about whatever Johnny is doing on the air. Oh, how many? Three. Well, you just do the best you can, okay? Okay. Uh, listen, Andy, we've never had any calls before, and if this pressure keeps up, I'm going to have to have more money. <laughs> Would you settle for a side of beef? <laughs> Let's what? Sharpen the news. And I want reliable sources, okay? Okay. And don't give me any more traffic reports until I get you a real helicopter. Gee, thanks, Andy. My chest is killing me. <laughs> okay, and Herb, now this station's ratings are going to go up, so be ready. That means more customers, not less. What? No. <laughs> hey, 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 Bailey, I'm going to need you to help me with on-the-air promotions, you know, rock concerts, record giveaways, whatever else you can think of. Wait, Andy, that's my area. Because Herb is going to be much too busy with sales meetings and business lunches. Oh. Bailey? <laughs> You think you can handle that? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. You can count on me, Andy. I know I can. Okay, well, listen, that's just about it. We'll continue beating like this and making plans, but I tell you, I think we're off to a real smooth start. Andy, gosh, darn it, I like it. I've seen them come and go, but you're the best. I'm with you 100%, Andy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Her, Les, follow me. Travis, you're fired. Good move, big guy. <laughs>
I knew you wouldn't last. <laughs> Mama just called. She's on her way down here. Now look, this is the plan. We'll tell her Johnny went crazy. Mine snapped while he was on the air. She'll buy that. And that happened once to us here. Sportscaster went nuts right in the middle of a swimming meet. I started barking like a dog. <laughs> well, can't you take a hitch? You're gone. Fired. Get out of here. Well, listen, what happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Mama heard Johnny on the air. That's what happened. I think right. we should all just try to calm down. Calm down, you jughead. Mama's coming. <laughs> you're right. This is no time for calmness. No, I'm certainly really not calm. And of course you're not, you lily-livered, gutless one. I ought to take you apart. I ought to chop you off right at the ankles. That's why I... Mother! <laughs> Sweetheart, come in. You know Herb and Les, don't you? Hello, Mama. Mr. Carlson. Mama. Gee, Mom, you look like a million bucks. Mother, keep away from me. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, you know, Mom, the darndest thing just happened. Now, how it happened, I, I'm not just too sure. But Who that, are you? Well, him, he's nobody. Who is this? Get him out of here. You can't have people wandering in off the streets. <laughs> Mr. Olson, I'm uh, Andy Travis, the new program director. You're the old program director. Herb Tarlick over here is the new program director. <laughs> Mom, Herb is just like his son. Stop that. <laughs> what about me? You can be program director after Herb's gone. <laughs> Mr. Travis. Are you responsible for the strange sounds I heard emanating from my radio this morning? I am. Well, explain yourself. Well, I like the sounds you heard this morning. Young man, this radio station is a business. It is not here for your personal listening pleasure. Well, if, if, if I may, ma'am, I know it's a business. See, that's why this station has no choice but to change its format. But there are already lots of rock and roll stations in Cincinnati. Well, why do you think that is, Les? Well, I personally think it's a plot of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Carlson, rock and roll is where the money is. How much money? Well, I think we can break even the first year, the second year, I think... Second year? I'm talking about now. Well, these things take time, ma'am. We break even the first year, the second year we clear maybe 800000 after taxes. Too little and too late. Too little? Mama, that 800000 is profits, not losses. I can sell this station for five times that amount right now. I want a faster turnaround. Ma'am, well, I hate to say it, but I... I personally cannot work that way. I guess I am fired. No, wait a minute. Mama, look, you've been on my back for years to turn a profit here. Now when I'm finally getting started, you want to dump the station. Let me tell you something. If he goes, I go. <laughs> That's what I said. I think you've never spoken to me that way before. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> I hate it. But it's the first time I've seen any sign of backbone in you. Yeah, well, while I'm at it, I got a few other things I... Don't push it off. <laughs> yes, Mama. Young man, we'll try it your way for a while. You've got a deal. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Andy, my man. What's going on there? How you doing? What is that? Oh, may I introduce Mr. Venus Flytrap? Hey, little mama. I beg your pardon. Venus is the best nighttime DJ in this country. I took the liberty of hiring him away from the station of New Orleans. Did you have a big audience there? The biggest. Welcome to Cincinnati, Mr. Flytrap. <laughs> Arthur? Yes, Mother. If this doesn't work, I'll tear you down brick by brick. I'll... We get the picture, Mama. I should met you two. That's a mean little mama. You bet. Herb, Les, why don't you show Venus around the station? Do it. You know, Miss Flytrap, I have some ideas about that nighttime show. Yeah? I do the sports news here, Mr. Flytrap. I don't know if you've noticed, but there certainly are a lot of Negroes in sports. Yeah, well... <laughs> Say what? <laughs> it's the hour of darkness, children. <laughs> and Venus is on the rise in Cincinnati. <laughs> the moon is high. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> so let's get down, pretty brothers and sisters. Together. We will growl and howl. <laughs> right after this word from Shady Hills Restaurant. <laughs> Many people ask this age-old question. What happens when I can no longer feed myself? <laughs> <laughs> 